It's one of the most visited streets in downtown Denver. Look at that gorgeous shot. Love that. Larimer Square, it has it all. Fine dining, unique shopping, an awesome nightlife, an incredible history, too. One of Colorado's treasures may not be here today, though, if it weren't for one woman's determination. Here's the now's Eric Lufer. It's Denver's love affair. And it's not just a city block. It's a placemaker, a gem that almost disappeared altogether. The buildings of Larimer Square are examples of the late 1800s. How about that? The first Denver post office was right here, one of the first banks, a number of hotels. Then in the 50s and 60s, things went downhill. A lot of homeless lived here, so the city's revitalization plan was to bulldoze everything. But the buildings still stand, thanks to one woman, Dana Crawford. I kind of um, had a vision for the future. She wasn't messing around. Crawford teamed up with investors and purchased most of the historic buildings along Larimer. We took an historic preservation approach to the buildings to bring them back to their original great good looks. This is the culmination of determination and will more than 50 years later. Jeff Hermanson owns it all now, each space unique in its own way, but still all the same. But it starts with a, a commitment of vision and a willingness to make the investment. Get this, Larimer Street has the most celebrity chefs in one block than anywhere in the country. It's not, it's not a coupon clipper. You can't just be passive. We knew that if the people of Denver came and liked it, they would bring their friends from out of town. And they have, with a taste of the past casting shadows below. Denver's love affair goes on as this great city grows into the future. It's the original downtown. In Larimer Square, I'm Eric Lufer for the Now Denver.